everyone, thanks for watching the CB vlog right here on YouTube. Uh, if you guys are liking these videos and you want us to keep making more, go ahead, hit subscribe, uh, leave a comment. Uh, also, check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash commandersbrew, and uh, you can help directly make these videos. But without further ado, let's get to today's topic. Okay, so uh, for today's topic of conversation, uh, I wanted to talk about our expectations, managing expectations. And we kind of had a little bit of a chat about this when we talked about the C19 uh, uh, decks and the precons. And I wanted to kind of revisit it briefly here when we're talking about these Brawl precons. Now, at the time of recording, these precons aren't fully released yet. We've seen the cards, obviously. We know the cards. And like, sites are, are beginning to price them out and we're seeing the prices and the prices for the commanders in them are quite high yeah now we know supposedly the plan from wizards is to is to print them is to, is to have an unlimited print run at least for a while um and to sell them to stores like gamestop and i'm assuming other big box stores so we're all hoping that that's going to be a, a mitigation factor as far as price goes but this, uh, these cards have something very different going on. It's not, it's not as simple as that, like it is with the commander precons, because these cards, there's, I think there's six or seven in every deck that are only available in the commander precons or those collector pack packs that you can get when you buy a box. And those cards are also standard legal. And legal for modern and whatever else too, right? They're legal. Right. I for, that's so weird that they're so we, legal for standard. Yeah. So so we talked about this in in our set review briefly. We we noted when the cards were either were only available in the brawl precons and when they're not. And I just wanted to sort of get like let's gauge our reaction as far as Commanders Brew as far as our show, part of the community, and let's talk about you know how we think this is going to affect our community. How we think this is going to affect and and what we like want out of wizards when it comes to this right so so again the dust hasn't fully settled yet so I, and actually by the time this comes out because we record these a week in, uh, ahead so by the time this has come out things might have drastically changed so just take a take that in, you know take that into mind as well but as of right now um it's it's not looking great right it's not looking great as far as us the players who want to get our hands on these commanders because they're literally each at least fifty dollars which is yeah wild. now that price is going to go down we know that for sure because there are because we are going to go out and buy the precons for whatever they are but the precons are also selling for like 40 50 dollars and probably more you know depending on what store you're going to right um like how much of the of the benefit of the doubt do we give to Watsi that the, that this will this will even out right that this will settle and these brawl commanders are going to get to where we want them to be like do we am are we willing to just be like you know what I trust them I think this is going to work out I don't know there's too many moving pieces to just for me I'll speak personally there's too many moving pieces to just put your trust into Wizards of the Coast. Uh, I know they've said they've put they're going to print a lot more, so that should bring the prices down. But when when do they print more? What I mean is, so I'm not going to buy one for fifty dollars if I know more are printing. So if a store is sitting there with ten copies for fifty bucks on the shelf, they won't put an order into their distributors. So then the distributors won't put that order into Wizards of the Coast. So then they won't print as many more as they said they would because no one's ordering them because no one's buying them because we're waiting for that price to come down. So does that mean the price will never come down because nothing else will get printed? I just don't know how, when that printing is happening. So some amount of people must be pre-ordering these things for whatever the price is now. So like I checked some websites and yeah, it's around on average, I'd say like 50, $50 American for one of these bra <clears throat> brawl free cons. That's way that's, too <clears throat> much. But if you look at it, the, all the brawl commanders are selling for $50 each. And, and that's not counting arcane, arcane signet, which is signet. also like a $20 card. So ah. like you are getting your value there if those prices remain the same, but like they definitely won't. Right. Once right. you start selling the precon for fifty dollars, there's no way that the commander of the precon remains at fifty dollars. It's just right. It just doesn't work that way. It can't. Otherwise, every other card is free in exactly. the thing, and that's just not going to happen. Um, uh. So yeah, like um, 
I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt there just because like, okay, you that's not going to be the prices. We can't rely on that to, to be to be where we place our judgment. So I am willing to give them the benefit of the doubt that things will settle down a bit. But if if it turns out that these Brawl Precons sell for like seventy, eighty dollars because of the value in these in these things, like you gotta ask like as a like uh, and I, I'm not angry at the people at Wizards. They just wanted to put a cool product together that they thought people would buy. But like you gotta ask, like, is this what you wanted? Did you want like obviously you want to make money? I know that. I'm no I'm not naive. I understand that the company wants to make money and they want to make a successful product. But like, did you really want to like make it so that the the brawl player who you know is potentially a new player who has done a draft uh, is interested in playing standard but they want to play with they want to play multiplayer with their friends and they or they want to get started in commander and this is like because these are all the things that we've heard from the company being like this is why brawl is going to be cool this is why brawl is going to be good for people that's what you wanted you wanted them now to go out and drop 80 dollars like no I, way i don't think that's what you wanted so so again that's i think they don't want that so i'm pretty sure it's not what's going to end up happening if it does obviously that's rough um are we happy with that obviously not are we happy on the whole with the way that wizards handles precons where it seems like in this they're really pushing it like they i i don't like it uh, yeah. the, I, and and the the fact that really cemented this idea for me is the fact that all of the cards in these exclusive sets are standard legal mm -hmm. which to me is like like brawl was supposed to be a rotating set that was like hey it's only it's only standard cards so this the, the unspoken agreement is that everything should be openable in a pack that you can buy for $4.99 at a store or whatever your boosters cost, like the regular set. Once you once Wizards, the inventor of Brawl, gets to say, oh, yeah, it's only things in standard and super exclusive, hard to get cards we also decided to invent. It's like, well, then what is even Brawl? Like, what what is it supposed to be if there's no rules to it? Like, I agree. I think I think it does go very much against the spirit of what they thought or what they pitched to us that Brawl yeah. was. Yeah. Like this is supposed Big to time. be this is supposed to be the format where you've drafted a few times, you've got, you know, you know, you you've got singletons of good cards, but you're not putting together a standard deck cuz you need four ofs of expensive cards and stuff, but you can throw them together and you can brawl with your friends. It's like, okay, yeah, I can do that with some some decks and I can do that with some cards, but like, oh, look at these really awesome brawl cards. Look at this. You know, look at Chu Lane, look at uh, you know, the other card. Oh, I, w I want one of those, but it's 50 bucks. I'm priced out of that. I am now priced yeah. out of that. And because they're so powerful and so good, the people who aren't priced out of it are just going to have an advantage. So my is question there even a is, mythic that's 50 bucks right now in the regular set? I don't like think so. there isn't a card instead. These are the most expensive cards in standard. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so have they gone overboard with this with this idea of special collector packs with special borders and special art and well, now it's like special cards and a whole other special precon like like it seems to me that's like whoa like what wait i like i even forgot that there was these borderless special art cards like i forgot that that was even a thing simply because i'm focused on the 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 brawl decks and like those exclusive cards just like seven exclusive cards in the brawl deck in each brawl deck that you can't get from packs it's like, and and are those cards going to be good? Well, I already know the Esper uh, one is getting played in in those standard events on Arena, so like that's going to be a standard card. Yeah, right. So, so like, good it's... good luck getting that one outside of like buying the precon. And if that deck really takes off, then it's going to be yeah, it's going to be it's going to get wild, right? And that card's going to be super hard to get. Like think about like they said Nexus of Fate printed more, and it's true, but like it didn't change the fact that it was harder to get. Oh, I hate it. It's it's like, it's like. I don't know, man. I just want to play with the cards. You put this card, this this set aside that says like, hey, you know, Brawl's cool. We want you to like Brawl. But the Brawl deck seems like it's least purchased for Brawl players, 
right? Commander players want Arcane Signet more than anybody. Commander players want these sweet three color commanders with awesome abilities that tie together other decks. And if standard players want them too, like how is the Brawl player the last person on the list who wants these cards? And the Those... stores are cracking them to get the singles because they want to yeah. sell the the whatever that blue dragon and like, you know. Yeah, the so other... then I can't, oh, I hate it. I hate it. The whole thing is, the whole thing is a disaster. I, I think they, I think, I'm not, so here's the other question I wanted to ask before sort of to, to, to not fully end on, but do we need to have access? Is, is every, should everything be for everyone? Should everything be equal like that? You know what I mean? Like, are we mad just because we want these cards and they're very powerful and it's like, oh man, I got to spend 50 bucks to get it. It's like, I want that. I'm mad about it. I'm bad. I got to spend 50 bucks, but you don't have to spend 50 bucks. No one's got a gun to your head saying you have to spend $50. You can still play okay. Brawl. Guess what? There's a lot of, there's great Brawl commanders in M20 and in the other, and in the other sets that are 50 cents. Right? I guess put the, together the, a key card deck. It's going to be great. I agree with you. We can play Brawl if we want to without these cards, but the feel bad for me doesn't come from not getting to play a deck with them. It comes from access it comes from like the like like the expectations were set that like brawl should be a little simpler to get into than commander uh but it's so like we do budget decks here like our decks don't cost like sometimes they cost more than 50 bucks but between 50 and 100 like you want your one commander shouldn't be that much we don't often brew around 30 to 50 dollar commanders cuz it's just that's the whole budget of the deck if you're printing a brand new card, it should either be super busted in standard, so everybody needs four copies of it for standard, and then when it rotates, it'll drop to like, you know, one tenth of the price or whatever. Uh, or, yeah, that's 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 the most expensive card that is brand new. These so is, exclusively... is it a feel bad for you when someone plays like Atraxa? Like an Atraxa deck because Atraxa is like a fifty dollar card or an Expropriate, which is like a ninety dollar card now. Well, out of but those cards didn't start that way, right? Expropriate was it? Well, you could open Expropriate if you bought Conspiracy Two. So mm -hmm. like you could just crack a bunch of Conspiracy, draft it with your friends, and like and and at the time it was like I don't know seven ten. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you really wanted one, ten seems fair. I'd pay ten for these commanders. Like these brawl commanders, ten seems fair for it for where the market should put them. I have a feeling 50. that that hopefully, I mean, and again, this by the time this comes out, we probably know, uh, but hopefully that is where they will land around. I'm I'm really hoping. I I, I really no hope so. But like Arcane Signet, is that going to drop? I don't. I fe know. I feel like it has Every to be single commander deck ever, including monocolored, wants this. Well, but but that's where the price gets so confusing. Because if Arcane Signet is worth sixty bucks, then Brawl decks cost sixty bucks at least. At least, it doesn't matter how many Wizards prints. If people like like like, I mean, I guess it technically does, but I don't I don't know. I I, I can't see that coming. I don't know. I, I'm very frustrated. So, yeah. So I, I guess I'm trying to like lay down like, is it is it an entitlement thing? Do we feel entitled that we should be, have access to these? Is Wizards not allowed to make some product that's like going to cost a little more and be a little more exclusive? Uh, I agree that there's feel bads, but like you know, feel bads are kind of a part of life, are they not? Well, okay. Yes. Sometimes feel bads are are part of life. Sometimes you feel things feel bad. So I, I think it's fair to really want the Kaladesh, like. Uh, what were they called? The mag the, masterpiece yeah, version, the, the invention version of Sol Ring. That would be amazing. Yeah. Uh, but I, but I still get to play with Sol Ring, right? Right. Uh, but something like Arcane Signet, like, and it's also it, it feels manipulative. That's the thing. Uh, like everybody in Wizards of the Coast knows that every Commander deck wants. Uh, an arcane signet they know how popular commander is by giving us only access in these brawl decks they're not idiots they knew how this would go and i just feel manipulated yeah i wonder if they genuinely thought it would kind of be more treated like command tower where it's like that's a that's a that's a dual land or tri land or whatever strictly better best land in commander no question about it every deck wants it monocolor doesn't care but other than that every deck wants it um 
I wonder if they thought more along the lines of like, well, we can make a two mana mana rock that only taps three commander stuff. Like no other format wants that. But we'll make except it the and... most popular casual format there is. Yeah, uh, I I do I do wonder. Like I I do know that like you know these are pe- the people making this game are people who love the game as well, right? Like we've we've talked to many of them. We've met them. You know, we've had them on the show. In Gavin's case, and and we've you know chatted with friends of friends all over the place, right? These are magic players who are making this. They like the format. They like the game. They they want to make cards that we want. So like, there's no question that they've given us a card that we all want and we all like. So yeah. I guess my thing is is like, <clears throat> it's tough to be angry. You know, they have there's that old saying of like, you could print a twenty dollar bill and put it in magic cards and magic players would be mad. And it's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of true in a way, right? Like, yeah. um. So I'm just trying to like explore that. Like, why are we upset with this? Because, and it's not that I don't agree that we should be upset. I think you fully can be upset with it. Um, I just want to understand, like, wh- well, where's it coming from? I'll throw another stick into this burning fire, too. <laughs> like, now, if you want to play Brawl a little bit competitively, you have to have an Arcane Signet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if that card becomes 50 bucks, guess what? Every Brawl deck is minimum 50 bucks from this point forward if you want to really compete. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder what they were thinking. I wonder if... If it was as simple as let's make another command tower type of thing, and then they just didn't realize that, like, no, 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 that's not the same command. T- command, and there was a time when command tower was expensive, very expensive. I remember. Oh, and did I remember you... when we first started playing commander, it was like a ten dollar card. Yeah, um, yeah. And then they, they started printing it in every set instead of just like giving it to us here and there. And now it's finally down to still a couple a dollar. It's a few dollars. dollars. Yeah, it's, a, a couple... it's like three or four dollars. So you need to print the crap out of Arcane Signet in order for it to drop to a at all reasonable price. And then I guarantee you there's no way it becomes less than a solemn simulacrum, which I think is at like five bucks right now. Five or six bucks. Uh, and uh, not to belabor the point, but uh, Jason Alt pointed this out on Twitter. It's not even a Signet. A Signet no, is something that you have not, to pay a I mana know. to get two mana. It just, uh, <laughs> it's not even a Signet by the strict definition of what a it, Signet is. Yeah, I, I, when I saw that too, I was like, wait a second, that's not a Signet. And like, and why, like, if it was a Signet, that would be better. It would be better because it wouldn't be quite as ubiquitous. It's, I think it still would be ubiquitous, to be honest. But like, two mana, pay one, add any two colors in your commander, commander's identity. Two different colors. Yeah. Wouldn't that be something? Yeah. Anyways, All right. uh, there we are. Um, all right. uh, so I overall, you know, we always. <laughs> did you catch that on camera, or did you catch no. that on the mic? I, I didn't. Had a, Harry had a huge fart. Um, <laughs> I hope we did. I hope we did too. Uh, but anyways, uh, you know, it's we're always happy to get new stuff for Commander. Uh, sometimes the way we get it could have could could be handled better. I think there's a lot going on with Throne of Eldraine and this Brawl decks that is like not ideal for commander players and players who want to actually play with the stuff. And that's what burns me <clears throat> is I think they're making it actually harder for people to play with the products that they th- say that they want us to play with. And I, whether it's like they just didn't foresee some of this stuff, which I find a little hard to believe, um, or they um, just kind of miscalculated, which is possible. Uh, it's, it's, it's a little disappointing um, but you know, it, it's, it's not ir, ir, like, it's not, uh, irreversible. Uh, <laughs> caught that <laughs> I one. heard that one. <laughs> caught that one. <laughs> Harry's just having a good old poo over here now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to leave that in. We'll see. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> you done? <laughs> yeah. He had a good laugh. Okay. <laughs> I'll start over just in case. Um, but it's not irreversible, right? It's uh, none of this is irreversible. There still is a point where you know we've printed the brawl precons this way, we've included these cards and so on. But it can it can improve from here. We can still reprint these cards and other things. We can include. We can now for the rest of time include arcane signet in every commander deck. It's yep. boring, and it's it's another soul ring, which is like yep. again boring as hell. But it's it's one way of fixing it. Um, uh, and and I th- like hopefully this is this is not um, a permanent thing where we're 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 like oh great you oh great you printed four new awesome commanders well they they start out at fifty dollars like I just hope that it doesn't continue from there on yeah um, anyways hashtag 
Wizards, please. Because uh, a lot of this is, is come on, please. You, you can do better than this. Uh, happy to have the stuff, but, you know, how is it done right? Is, is it done right? Yep. All right. Um, Thanks for watching. If you love what we're doing, consider supporting the show by going to patreon.com slash commandersbrew. And if you want to get any of the cards from our deck list, go to our TCG player affiliate link below. That helps us out too. And for a free way to help us out, consider sharing the show with some friends. Like and subscribe, add a comment or two. See you later. Bye.